Hey guys, what's up? It's Looney TNT. So we're just doing some trash on some looking for raid, and uh, I'm just frustrated. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna show um, show you guys what gear I got because uh, you know the the fights in here and looking for raid. This is why nobody likes looking for raid. It's just ah. Uh. It's so crazy, and then you got people like me that are frustrated that are like, I'm not even helping with trash. So, let's go and show you some gear. So, uh, my cur current item level is now uh, 715. I'm doing um, uh, fairly, uh, I'm doing okay. I'm not the best, I'm still learning a lot, but uh, I did get my 4 set, which was amazing. I had to get it with the, the gloves, but... Um, you know, the gloves aren't the best for me. I think I'd rather have my chest for my four set and then my gloves from Archimon. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I am now currently 12 out of um, 13 Heroic. So uh, we're actually going to be doing um, Archimon uh, Heroic mode on, when was it? Sunday. So that's going to be exciting. So that's actually tomorrow. Hopefully we can get a kill. Um... We'll see. We just, uh, one of our tanks had some internet problems on Thursday, so, uh, we actually had to end the raid before, uh, Archimon, but that's okay. I did get, uh, some upgrades. I got my, um, I think this drops off Archimon on normal mode, and I got that. And I did, what else did I get? I upgraded my ring, so now I have this 715 ring. Um, I think I might have shown my trinkets. I already got those trinkets, but I did get a, uh, heroic um, bracers that are perfect for me that are crit haste my critical strike is now 40 percent so that's doing pretty good did i get some boots yeah i think i got some boots too so i got a critical strike uh, multi-strike on those also so overall um the my gear is um upgrading pretty quickly i do have uh some uh, people that are uh need some of the items that i need also in, uh, in the raid so uh, it just is what it is, and sometimes I'm not as lucky with my rolls or my bonus rolls. So that said, you know, there's really nothing you can do about that. Um, what I am going to be doing if we kill uh, Archimon tomorrow, I will be um, using my... I have one more roll, so I will actually be using my roll on uh, Archimon, and hopefully I can get that neck piece or my... Uh, my hands, so when I do get my chest off uh, Manoroth, I can actually use my chest and uh, swap out the hands for the hands that I have. So I'd love to have that. That would be a that's something I'm really looking forward to. So there's kind of some uh, trial and error planning, some some gear strats out, and things like that. But uh, overall, I'm super excited about uh, all the progress I've been making. Um, I've been debating on playing with Focus Shot a little bit now that I have my four set. I just, um, let me, where's my talents at? I, I think overall Lone Wolf is the better choice though because I don't think the pet is equal to 30%. I know Focus Shot will give me a lot more um, uh, focus, but I don't think, I think 80% of the encounters in Hellfire Citadel Lone Wolf is a lot better. Um, just uh, for switching wise and for for everything you need to be doing. You know, I know my pet can get there to ads, but to have that extra 30% on my shots to be able to switch to ads, uh, I think uh, Lone Wolf is just something that uh, I prefer to use and I will continue to use. But I will try out uh, Focus Shot a little bit to see... Uh, if there is a little bit of damage increase, um, or if not. I'm also going to be um, trying to swap out uh, Beast Mastery for certain fights, like the very first fight, which is very easy. So I'm actually, because it's more of a, a cleave and I can do a lot more AoE damage as uh, Beast Mastery than I can Marksman. But then you get to the fact that Marksman overall is just the better spec for 80% of the fights anyway. So it's, um, you know, it's, I think it's just a, a thing to swap out for being fun rather than uh, trying to uh, be competitive because, you know, the DPS in my, uh, uh, my guild are really, really good. Um, the players are really good. 
it's a it's a fun guild to be in, and I'm having a, a lot of fun. You know, I think uh, I think if you want to turn Wad around, um, because Wad has been a lackluster expansion, and I'm completely on the wrong ad. But like I said, I'm just <laughs> I'm just having some fun with it. But um, if you want to turn uh, Wad around, if you're not raiding, find a raid guild that uh that will take you in, that will teach you how to raid, uh, do some research and stuff, because it's it makes a world of a difference when you're in a guild that uh, you're com um, uh, killing bosses with, having some fun with, joking around with. I think that's what makes the MMO experience. You know, having some, uh, some guild that you're with, a group of friends, and just having fun every time you get on World of Warcraft. And it's so tempting to barrage here, but did they pull? Let's do it. Let's barrage, making sure that I'm not pulling everything. You know, that's the one thing that I hate doing in Hellfire Citadel on Trash, is barraging. I hate to hit my barrage because if you're not careful, you will pull everything. Or um, that uh, that pat where you everybody skips, right? You hug the, uh, the right wall and um, those assassins pop out and some hunter in the group pops barrage and... Uh, the assassin he was standing uh, someone was standing too far back and the assassin jumps back and uh you know the barrage hits oh man it's not necessarily the hunter's fault because everybody should have been stacking but you need to know when to barrage and when not to barrage any path that's by you that you're skipping don't barrage it just is what it is all right guys so that's my gear update and things like that also uh we hit 2 million views on the channel, which is, uh, man, that's that's insane. Um, it's so cool to have uh, 2 million views on the channel. That's uh, That means a lot to me. Views aren't something that I really, like, if I had to pick what I want, would I want views and money, or would I want a higher sub count? I'd pick the higher sub count. I would love to have one of those uh, uh, silver play buttons, the little ones that um, you get with 100,000 subscribers. Uh, I'd love to be able to have that, um, you know, to uh, to post up and, you know, just, just to have. You know, I can, when I'm getting older and I'm, you know, 92 years old and YouTube's not around, I can be like, yeah, you see that? At one point, I had a hundred thousand subscribers. You know, I, that would be uh, that would be an amazing thing. But um, that's my goal. So, if you guys want to uh, advertise the channel, tell people to come subscribe. You know, I don't need them to watch daily. I'm not really worried about the the views and the money. I'm that's just not something I'm I'm worried about. I'm worried about helping people. And if I had to have pick something for views and subs. Man, I'd love to have 100,000 subscribers. That's not going to happen for a very long time. But you never know. Maybe someone watching um, has a few friends on Facebook or has some Twitter followers or has a YouTube fan base. And they're like, hey, go subscribe to this guy. He does weird YouTube videos and he doesn't make sense half the time he's talking. But it is what it is. All right, guys. I better get this boss down. And I'll talk to you guys soon.